In this video, we are looking at frequency trees. Let's take a look at the example. Janice is a professional tennis player. In a year, she played 120 matches. She won the first set in 75% of the matches she played. She went on to win 80% of the matches where she won the first set. But of the matches where she lost the first set, she went on to win only two fifths of those. We need to draw a frequency tree to show this information. So there are two things going on here. We are getting information about whether she won the first set or not, and then whether she went on to win the match. So it's possible that she could win the first set and win the match. She could win the first set but lose the match. She could lose the first set but end up winning the match. Or she could lose the first set and then go on to lose the match. So we can show those four outcomes using a frequency tree like this. This diagram shows all the possible outcomes based on the information we've been given. Now, we know that she played 120 matches. She won the first set in 75% of those matches. 75% of 120 is simply three quarters of 120. One quarter of 120 is 30, so three quarters is 90. So in 90 matches out of 120, she wins the first set. That means she loses the first set in the other 30 matches. Remember, she was playing a total of 120 matches. So these numbers here need to add up to 120. Moving on to the next bit of information, we find that Janice went on to win 80% of the matches where she won the first set. So she won the first set in 90 matches. And then in 80% of these 90 matches, she's going to win the match overall. That means we need to work out 80% of 90. 10% of 90 is 9, so 80% of 90 is going to be 8 lots of that. 8 lots of 9 is 72. So 80% of 90 is 72. That means she wins 72 matches out of the 90 where she's won the first set. That means she loses all the remaining matches out of these 90. So 90 take away 72 gives us 18. She loses 18 out of the 90 matches where she won the first set. To repeat then, these two numbers, 72 and 18, need to add up to 90. They are telling us what happens in these 90 matches. In 72 of them, she wins. In 18 of them, she loses. Let's carry on to the next bit of information. Of the matches where she lost the first set, Janice went on to win only two-fifths of those. Well, she lost the first set in 30 matches. Out of these 30 matches, she's going to win two-fifths of them. So we need to work out two-fifths of 30. Now, one-fifth of 30 is six. So two-fifths of 30 is going to be two lots of six, or 12. So out of these 30 matches, she's going to win 12 of them. That means she's going to lose all the remaining matches out of these 30. 30 minus 12 gives us 18. So she's losing these 18 matches. And again, just to be clear, these two numbers, 12 and 18, need to add up. 30. Here we have the frequency tree. We've now answered part A of the question. In part B, the question says, one of Janice's matches is selected at random. What is the probability that Janice lost the first set but won the match? Well, there were 120 matches altogether. Out of those 120 matches, there were only 12 matches where she lost the first set but went on to win. 
we're following this path on the frequency tree and we're dealing with 12 matches. So the probability that one of these matches that was picked at random is one of these 12 matches is simply 12 over 120. That's a correct probability. We can simplify this fraction if we like. That simplifies to 1 tenth. We could write that as a decimal, 0 0.1, or we could write it as a percentage, 10%. What we did here was spot that there were 12 matches we were interested in based on the question out of 120 matches in total. So that's why the probability was 12 over 120.